we're going to figure out how we can quickly create just thousands of images with a click of a button. Hi there, my name is Angel and in this channel we talk about AI tech, business and personal growth. Today we're going to talk about how we can generate thousands of images using just Google Sheet and OpenAI's API without having to use automation tool like make.com or Sapier. Let's get started. In my last video I shared with you guys how to quickly use cursor to build an iOS app and I put together this Bobo Cards flashcard app. When I was doing this flashcard app, one of the biggest challenge for me or what was time consuming for me was the content, right? The flashcard app is all about content. So creating and generating these images takes a long time. So we're going to figure out how we can quickly create just thousands of images with a click of a button. Now, usually creating an image requires a lot of effort because you're either doing it in mid journey where you have to type in a prompt and create one, or you have to go to ChatGPT and generate images one at a time. Even using Using Adobe Firefly, I was taking a lot of time. I was thinking I should build a way that is much quicker for me to do this and uh, I wanted to share it with you today. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to type in the word car. Then I'm going to drag the prompt down, which will give me a kawaii vector illustration of a simple car with a touch of realism. This is just the prompt that I'm using and I'm going to go over here to this flashcard button and click generate image. Basically, I created a script that would take your open AI API key, which all the information is stored in the API key tab. And we're going to call the API to create an image for us using this prompt with the OpenAI API. As you can see here, two images are generated of cars, which I can then use in my flashcard. I'm going to show you how this spreadsheet works. So I named it Bobo Cards Image Database, but basically I inputted a script under extensions app script, and I created a script that you can load onto here and you save, and then you can run, run the script and it will create this file for you. And so you you just type in the word and you create a prompt in it. You can then click this flashcard button to generate images. I'm going to show you how I can quickly generate fire truck, excavator and ambulance images for my flashcard app. We just drag the prompt down. The prompt is a simple reference of the word, the vocabulary word over here. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to click on flashcard over here and click generate images. The script is running and you can see this over here is showing processing fire trucks row 8 out of 10. So it's generating images for the empty ones over here. And while we're waiting for that to generate, because it does take time, it's, it's not that it doesn't take time, it still takes time, but you just don't have to be the one generating and clicking and re-entering the prompt every single time, right? We can take a look at which image you prefer, selected image, which will allow us to export it quickly later and download it onto Superbase, which was the database that I'm using. I'm just selecting which car I like more, which fire truck I like. This is not ideal because this fire truck has some text in it that I don't like. So maybe I could say no text and then I'm going to delete it and then regenerate it. But you can see excavator looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to use the first one and the ambulance. I can use the first one. You can see here that it just automatically loaded without me doing much. Although you might have to kind of tweak this a little bit. I'm going to tweak this because I didn't like those and I tweak the prompt. What I'm going to do is regenerate. So click again, flashcard over here and then generate images. We'll have to wait a little bit. The script is now finished and you can see here that this still had a text in it, but at least this one doesn't. So I can use this one as my choice. Basically, it's super easy to create images using this method. We're now in the API key tab. You have to input your own API key in the tab A1 and you can set which model you want to use. I'm using Dolly 2 because it's a flashcard app that I don't want to spend too much on on the images. It doesn't have to be like super detailed, super refined. I'm using Dolly 2 because it's half the price of how, how much it costs in the API. And if you're going to generate thousands of images, it could get expensive. That's why I'm using Dolly 2. I'm going to probably upload the script somewhere that you can get access to if you're interested. In this particular script, I also added another function, which is export selected for Superbase, which I can run to generate an extra sheet to to give me only the images that I want to use in Superbase and then download and upload in mass. Previously, I showed you guys how to mass 
create images using an API in Google Sheet, and then you get this export of this image URL. By the way, this image URL expires after a certain time. So if you didn't download it in time, it would expire and you would have to regenerate it again. You want to avoid that by mass downloading everything. So I did some tweaking to the script so that I would get an output that works with my database. So I don't have to do all the work of clicking and downloading. And I needed another script to mass download all these images and uploading them into my Superbase database. So I'm going to show you what I'm doing. I am generating images. I need to drag the prompt down. My updated script now includes a ping to the OpenAI API so then it will fill in the other information for me too so that when I upload it, it's more seamless. I don't have to refill everything and I just pick the word and it would do all these work for me. You can see generating images for orange and then it's going to do so for backpack. And if it works, I should see a new entry in my database, which has been added over here. I generated some images and what I'm going to do is go over here to flashcards and export selected for Superbase. Just rename this sheet to Superbase underscore export downloaded as a CSV file. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to cursor. Under cursor, you just have to open up this bottom command panel and then do make directory bobo cards upload. And now that this is there, you can CD into bobo cards upload. We're just heading into this folder, right? You can do npm init and install the required packages right here. To see this, you can open the folder. Open up Bobo Cards Upload and you'll see the files over here. We're going to create the script file. We're going to name it as download and upload J. Now we have this JavaScript file. We're also going to create a dot environment file where we can store our Superbase credentials. This is where you want to edit the file to input this. To get this, you just have to go to Superbase. What you want, the API keys are this URL and the service role key. So you want to review it and then copy it and then input that into your .environment file. And obviously you need to put in the actual JavaScript file. You need to save this for it to work. So you're going to input this node, download and upload .js file, then uploading the file that we just downloaded onto there. I'm going to have to rename this to superbase underscore export because I already set up the superbase in here and under this dot environment file. Now it's going to just automatically create an entry into my table. So we should be able to now see what are the words orange and backpack right here, orange and backpacks and in different categories. I can also upload and share this script with you guys, but I just really quickly want to show you how you can connect this to your Superbase database or any other database with a little bit of code and a simple script, which is right here. I can link all of this in my file though. I just want to show you that this is 100% doable and very simple. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. And if you found this useful, please subscribe.